I don't know about you, bitch, I hope the fuck you do. I'm feeling 22. 22. What am I supposed to do now? Oh, Lord. Nobody gave me a plan for this shit. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Diary of a 20-somethings Crisis. I am your beautiful host, the one, the only, Kia Purst, Kia, Chris, whatever you want to call me. And I just have one thing to say to you guys. I'm 22 now, guys. <laughs> no, but really, like, how are you all living? How is life? How are you all doing? Are y'all living your best lives? Are y'all living the fantasy? How are we doing mentally? You know... It may have been a moment, but I'm still a nosy girl. Like, I need to know what's going on in your life. Because if I don't know, then who's going to ask? In all seriousness. Because, like, come on out. It's a whole new, it's a whole new era. It's a new age. It's just, it's the moment. She is the moment, darling. Now, I did just come off of a little brief not even like a hiatus, but like a couple weeks because honestly, this past week, I just celebrated my 22nd birthday and you guys, I cannot even begin to like be grateful, but also just like, it's crazy to me. Like, it's just crazy that like, oh, I'm 22. Like, that's weird. Because, like, you know, all the milestone birthdays have already passed. Like, 10, 13, 16, 18, 21. And now I'm just, like, I'm 22 now. So it's like, what am I supposed to do with that? And honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. Even though, like, what's today? It's Thursday. I turned 22 on Sunday. Out of it being only like four to five days, I really have felt like this weird gravitational change to being 22. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I've been a lot, I think it's because I've been nicer, but also not even like just being nicer, but also like, you know, accepting like, okay, I am getting older. I am becoming like more of an adult. I am becoming more, I don't want to say wiser because let's be honest here, I still like don't know what's going on up there. But like everything is coming to somewhat terms of like who I am and what I want to do for like the next couple years of my life like it's just been picking up so fast because I remember literally when I was when I was 21 like like that wasn't a week ago even though it was like I I honestly did not know what I wanted to do I really didn't like all I knew I was wanting to live my best life I wanted to party I wanted to do anything that could get me like a jump start for my life and honestly I did those things and it was fun I didn't party as much because honestly like I'm not the partying type but 22 I've just actually 22 22 I am a partying type because I like girl before I even continue I need to talk about this on my birthday I went to a strip club well, it was like the night before and then, like, when midnight rolled over, I was still in the strip club. So it was just like, oh, my God. And before anybody asks, it was a very gay strip club. It was men and women and just everybody was a person of color. Of course, there were, like, some trans girls, trans men. Like, it was just the best LGBTQIA club ever. Shout out to Baltimore for having, like, the best crowds because, honestly... I wouldn't know what I would do, like, if I didn't have that experience. Because me and my man went to the strip club together. He performed, and I was just so proud of him. And while he was performing, I became, like, 
friends with the strippers, with the dancers, with the bartender. I was like, everybody here is just on point. And I love that for them because they are just beautiful people. And I would not know where I would be without them. Mm. Well, I know where I would be if I didn't meet them. I'd be here in my bedroom at home an hour and a half away from where they are not living my life but since I met them I'm like starting to live my life a little more and just wanting to you know embrace like not only my queerness during pride month but also like me and like who I want to be as I become more of a human on this godforsaken planet that's continuously dying but like I honestly have had like the best I've honestly had like the best week. I've I've never I actually I haven't been really in one spot in a week. So this is like weird for me to just be like, oh I'm home. Oh I'm just, you know, living my life, living the fantasy. It's all crazy and weird. But like, I just love. I actually really do love where I'm at right now. Cause from last week. Like, this whole past week has just been very just beautiful. It's been very just, like, experiencing new things. And I even had this talk with my mom. I was like, you know, just being home, being away from home for, like, a couple of days just, like, really opened my eyes. Because I was, like, really, like, discovering who I am as, like, a person. Because, you know, like, I don't, let's be honest here, I don't get out as much. It was very just a great time. I'm really starting to see where I want to be. And I have no problem with that. Okay. I need to talk about what I learned during my full year as a 21-year-old. And to be very honest, there's a lot of things I learned. One, don't drink. Don't, drinking is not all that. I learned that, well, I've been drinking since I was 16 so we're not really going to get into that but I learned that 21 I may have drunk a little too much because every other day I was like I need a drink I need a drink I need to do this I need to do that like I just need I can't get through this day without a drink and I kind of like you know took that to like a certain advantage but like now it's like It's dialing back a little bit more because I'm, like, starting to learn, like, oh, I don't need to drink to be, you know, like, functional. Like, I don't. I don't mind having one. I don't mind having a shot or two. I don't mind having a little drinkity drink. I don't mind paying for drinks. But, like, I just know that I don't, I don't need one to have fun all the time. And you're not going to catch me have one all the time. Because what am I? I'm an adult now. I'm kidding. But like, honestly, I'll still drink a little bit. I'm still in my 20s. I still need to live a little life. What are you going to do about it? What's anybody going to do about it? Really? Like, honest to God, really? 21 taught me to be like, more self-aware. Not even like self-aware, but also just to be like, more. I want to say more open. I was very, like, I know myself. I know myself very well. It's very, I'm always closed off. I'm always very just, ooh, excuse me, a yawn. Not yawning. Like, why? It's only 9.30. Why am I, not even 9.30. Why am I yawning? But, like, not just, like, closed off because I was a very, like, I did not go out as much as I wanted to. I literally, if I wanted to do, like, anything fun, it was very much like, do I want to? Do I not want to? I don't know. Very, I was very indecisive. But now I'm, like, you know, opening the door for possibilities because you never know. Because, like, I, there are so many things I want to do now. And all those things that I possibly would like to do in my future, I shouldn't have to be worried about. I can literally just be like, okay, come on, you got this. If you want to go out and have a good time, go out and have a good fucking time. Like, it should not matter. 
And I learned that for me and I freaking love it. Like it's 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 crazy. And let's see, what else did I learn? I learned to also I also learned like to find closure in situations that I don't have control over. And y'all are probably like, what does that even mean? Or if you know me personally, you know that um, the day after my birthday, I ran into, remember the ex I would always talk about on this podcast, the one that broke me, that I was, you know, pining after for almost a year? Yeah, that one. Um, I recently saw him at the mall. It was... It was very interesting. We didn't speak. Um, we exchanged eye contact. I saw him with his mom. Like we did. We just we didn't talk. But, you know, like talking on this show, being like, yo, like I, if I could do anything for that ex, I would do it. But like in that moment, I just did. I did not care. Like, I was shook for a minute. I was literally rubbed the wrong way kind of the whole day but like when I go back and think about it I did not care like I felt nothing like I'm in this new relationship where I'm happy where I'm okay where like we talk every day there's we communicate and I just don't, do I have to worry about some things? I don't know yet, but like, hey, all I know is, is that we got this on lock and we're in the bag and now I can move on from that chapter that I have been literally praying, crying, asking for the closure that I thought I needed. But instead I got the closure that I deserved, which was to just see their face, know that they're alive, know that they're just, you know, from the looks of it, he looked like he wasn't doing well because like I knew what him and his mother were doing, but that's none of my business because I don't expose people on here. Honestly, who am I kidding? Yes, I do because I know he's never going to listen to this. And if he does, do I really care? No, but I'm still not going to expose him because, you know, why would I? I have no, I have no reason to. We have nothing to talk about anymore. (laughs) Honestly, he looked the fuck wrong and I looked the fuck good. That's all I have to say. I looked cute as fuck on that day. And if he didn't recognize me with his new hair, baby, you're missing out on the fantasy. That's all I said. You left, you missed out. And now I got a man that makes me happier because what do you do? Nothing. You're still doing the same shit when we were together. Um, You know, stealing. Anyways, (laughs) (laughs) I'm petty. I'm petty as fuck. I'm really petty for that. And I don't care because it's true. (laughs) Okay, what were we talking about? What what am I what did I learn at 21? Um to pick up a damn book, honestly. (laughs) Like I learned I started reading more at 21. I remember when I was like entering my twenties, it's just like I would buy books and not read them. But now I'm actually starting to like read and digest like what the information is giving me. And it's just a lot. And I know like y'all are probably like, why are they talking like this? Because this isn't even important. They're supposed to talk about like what it's like being 22. To be honest, I don't know what it's like being 22. I barely knew what it was like to be 21. I just knew like I was legal to do stuff. I'm 22 and I still can't drive. And that's another story. For another day, because I already know what everybody's going to tell me when they hear this. They're going to be like, Chris, why don't you get your goddamn license already? Well, guess what? If you want me to get it so bad, how about you take the driver's test for me? How about you take the learner's test again 
for me because guess what? It's hard and I don't feel like taking it over three times in a row just because you want me to. It's called I done done the deed. Why should I have to take it again? It's called learners shouldn't even be expired. They should just like, it's a learner's permit. You're learning to drive no matter how long it takes. Why do you need an expiration date? That's my thoughts on that. But like, honestly, now that I'm like, I want to talk about like now that I'm like 22, I'm, I know I already talked about this a little bit, but like, I'm starting to like realize things for like me, what I want to do as like an adult. I literally have started focusing on so many projects that I have literally held off all through 21. Like, there are so many things that I, like, held off on that I was like, I don't even want to do it yet. Like, I'm not ready. Girl, let me tell you, I have been around so many creatives in, like, the creative spaces recently. And it's just, like, I'm getting so, I'm just getting expired expired not expired inspired to do everything that I love to do in the what I love to do in the first place and I'm ready to push that to a new height like that's the main thing I want for 22 and beyond is that I want to finally live and finally create the things that I want to create and not only like be insecure about them but also to be proud of them and also to be just very out loud and say I did this I'm ready to do this and if anybody wants to tell me differently then there's the door not even like there's the door but like say it to my face because guess what I'm still doing me and I love me for it I really do And I wouldn't know what else to do. Because like, hey, I'm not changing. Why are you? The only thing that's changing about me is my age. And by my age changing, I'm just growing up. I'm doing things that like, hey, 13-year-old Chris, 16-year-old Chris, 18-year-old Chris, hell, even 21-year-old Chris would have been like, you really want to do those? Like, you're making, you're trying to make our dreams come true? And you know what? Yeah, I am going to try and make our dreams come true. Because that is what we wanted since day one. We wanted to do this. We had the idea. So why not execute it? And honestly, I'm ready to execute it. Because if I don't, who will? Honestly, like, who will? If not now then when and if not me the who isn't that fun blow the whistle that's from blow the whistle and i love that song blow the whistle blow the whistle all y'all think i'm crazy but that's that's just how it is like it's life and i love it i love it i love it so much Okay, you guys, that's going to conclude today's episode. Um, Right now, I feel so calm and at peace. Like, you have no idea. It's crazy. I cannot wait to see what this big old age of my 22nd year is going to bring to me. Because honestly, I have a lot of things planned. I have a lot of things coming up and a lot of things in the works. And I can't wait for you all to be a part of that. And honestly, if you want to follow me on any of the socials, it's all at Kia Purse, no matter where you go. It's nothing else but Kia Purse. And if you like this episode, you know what? Give it a little like. And guess what? I have a lot more episodes. And if you haven't heard them all, they're all out. And there will be more to come very soon. So I hope you all enjoyed. And I want you to have a beautiful rest of your day. Be safe. You know what? live life and if you're having a crisis we can talk about it (laughs) okay you guys love you bye
God, I love my life right now. I can't help it.